So now, not all of you are absolutely convinced that you want academic careers, and I'm not surprised by that, because there are some very awesome things about academic careers, and there's some pretty crappy things about them, too. <laughs> when you think about academic careers, what are the good things that you think about? What are the things that really appeal to you about an academic career? Getting to do what you want. Getting to do what you want. This, I think, is number one, right? I mean, most of the people who we tend to be pretty sort of individualistic and a little bit prickly sometimes, people who go into academic careers. And, you know, we're, we're interested in certain things, and we want to have the freedom to study what we want and do what we want. And this is honestly a big reason why I left the policy world, where I had a permanent job in the city that I wanted to live in, a very good job. Ultimately, after a couple of years there, I wanted more control. I wanted to do what I wanted to do. Now, of course, there's always limits to this. You can do whatever you want to do, but if you do something that other people aren't interested in, other people don't think is important, you're not going to get it published and you're not going to get a job. <laughs> so there are limits to doing. You can do what you want to do so long as it's sexy, considered relevant, considered interesting to other people and publishable. <laughs> and you know, I mean, I, I say that as a joke because you think ah, everybody knows that, but really, Keep that in mind. <laughs> it matters. It matters for things even when you're choosing your dissertation topic, OK? What else? What else appeals to you about an academic career? I'll OK. Say them all. <laughs> <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean by flexibility? Um, I, you don't necessarily have to work 9 to 5. Um, you can kind of take the, way, the hours you want to work. And if you want to work at home, you can do that. Um, so there's a bit more flexibility with it. Absolutely. So long as you're producing, so long as you're teaching the classes you need, to, you need to teach, you can do your work pretty much whenever. So I typically work on the weekends and go rock climbing in the weekdays because it's less crowded. I have an afternoon nap almost every day. <laughs> These are awesome things about an academic job <laughs> that most you know, corporate jobs don't allow you to do. Right? I also work very late into the night and work almost all the time. But you know, when I am taking my time off, I do it on my own terms when I want to do it. Right? And you know, I work a lot at home with my dogs hanging out. So that's, that is a very good thing, for sure, about an academic job. What else? Anyone else? Or are those just it? That's, those are the only good things about academic jobs. This isn't a ringing endorsement for this career path, you guys. <laughs> you can only think of two things that are, uh, that are good. I think the environment is really cool. There's a lot of continuous growth. Mm -hmm. Like personal and professional growth. I worked um, for government for five years and I did my master's and my PhD. That was one of the It's, it's intellectually challenging, and you're always learning new things. Absolutely. You know, that is part of the job. You're constantly reading new things. You're learning new, new methods for how to do research, um, new research projects. Uh, and that's very appealing. That's a very appealing part of the job, for sure. What about teaching? <laughs> Anyone think that's a good thing? <laughs> Teaching, not everybody loves teaching. You know, teaching has, has its ups and downs, and there are frustrating aspects of it. But teaching can be very rewarding. Um, I think sometimes, particularly if you've had a long slog through your PhD, you know, that it's a process that can kind of grind you down a bit and make you a little bit cynical. And then to go in front of a class where people who, the things that you have come to take as commonplace, they're learning for the first time, and you see light bulbs going on in front of, you know, on top of people's head. That's really, that's a privilege to be part of that process. And, um, and it can be a great source of pleasure teaching, for sure. That's one of the, for, you know, for many people, that's one of the good things about academic jobs. For other people, it's not a good thing at all. And, you know, it may look for other kinds of jobs, necessarily, that, uh, that don't have that so much. Um, and you know, there's things that go along with that, like making a difference. You know, uh, making a difference to the students, how they think, their their progression in their careers. Um, as an academic, you you often are asked to comment in the media on issues that are related to your research. You know, you're sort of and there's you know, like let's be honest, it's not something that most people will mention. And you know, while the pay isn't so hot relative to pay for other professions with similar amounts of training. 
a lot of status and prestige. You're being a professor. You know, if you're taking a cab to the airport and the cabbie asks you what you do and you say that you're a university professor, you know, the usual kind of reaction is you must be a smart cookie and how, how lovely for you. You know, I mean, it is a profession that people tend to um, treat with a certain amount of respect. And, you know, that's very nice. <laughs> uh, it is, you don't get a lot of um, pecuniary rewards, but there, there is a certain amount of status and prestige that go along with the job. And, you know, like, let's not kid ourselves. Uh, that can be very appealing for people, myself included, at this time. <laughs>